Uh, last question from Sharonda says, when is micro chunking a better option? What factors come into play? What comes into play is the type of debts that you have. So if I'm dealing with someone that has 17 credit cards, all of them have debts on it, micro chunking might, might look a little nice, especially if we got like three cards on deferred, one thing at zero interest, this one's on a balance transfer, these ones are getting charged interest. So we might do some micro chunking like that. So it, it's when someone has so many debts spread across the board as opposed to someone that has one big debt. So if you have one big debt, micro chunking doesn't make sense. We have to like chunk at that hard to start recouping the interest and the cash flow gain from it. But when we have multiple debts across the table, that's when we might want to look into micro chunking. It doesn't, it, it, it's like you're, debt consolidating just it's like a hybrid it's like you're doing both velocity banking and, and debt consolidation and we're saving money by just simply month by month like going through each debt and removing all that interest and then gaining little cash flow little cash flow little cash flow and eventually starts to really build up it looks nice and pretty okay